ta -da! We have a new brewer that came in the mail and I want you to join me open it. All right. Ooh. So this actually came from Japan. I ordered it direct from Japan just because it's cheaper. <laughs> this is the Hario Dripper Mugen. So this is this isn't this is not really a new um, it's not really a new dripper, but it's new for me. It took me a while to get this one. It has been around the market for quite some time now. And I've been trying to hold off on it just because I have so many drippers already. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking I finally need one. So I ordered it and here it is. So when you open the box, yeah, you get just the dripper. That's it. Yeah. Um, what's so special about the Mugen is the inside of it. So it has the same um, 60 degree angle, the same as the V60, but it doesn't have the spiral ribs. If you look at it, yeah, if you look at if you look at it here, right here, you see those design. Those designs that you can see are only from the outside. If you feel it with your hand, if you feel it, if you try to feel it with your finger, it is very smooth inside. There are a couple of lines that that you can feel, but basically it is very smooth inside so what does it mean to be to have a smooth inside of the dripper so this means that your bypass again the bypass is the water that is not passing through your coffee bed so this means that the amount of bypass is very little little to none so when you have your um when you have your uh, paper set and if you set it correctly perfectly um, attach it to the walls of the dripper then you have zero bypass right um, why do you want zero bypass by having little to no bypass when you're brewing your coffee um, it increases the rate of extraction that you get out of your brewing so um, this in theory the Mugen should make a better cup of coffee. But of course, it always depends on your personal preference and how you use it. Remember, no matter how expensive your tool or your weapon is, if you don't know how to use it, you will still not uh, maximize the potential of your weapon. Anyway, another reason why I bought this is because you can use it in tandem with your switch, right? So, this is your Hario switch, right? Um, you can remove the glass V60. Okay. Also, the Mugen, you can remove it from its base. Of course, it's going to be a bit hard at first. There. And you can use it with your switch. Ah. So now you have zero bypass, low, very low um, heat transfer with the power of the switch. Right. Um, in the future, I will be, I will be doing um, comparisons of the Mugen versus the normal V60 but right now I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like what is the difference and what can you do with it right so that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching 
In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!